Hi guys, David here, and today's video we're going to talk about the iPhone and what you can do to get your old voicemails back. So when we were upgrading our iPhones, uh, my wife was getting the iPhone 8, she had an iPhone uh, 6, I think we both had iPhone 6, and we were upgrading to the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. So uh, when we transferred everything, uh, she noticed that some voicemails didn't come over. Actually, none of the voicemails came over. And she was really worried about that because one of the, a few of the uh, voicemails were some voicemails that she actually wanted to keep. Uh, they were a family member that passed away and she just wanted, there were some voicemails she just wanted to keep because of it. Uh, but then she was worried that she didn't see anything on her new phone, uh, old voicemails. So she called Apple. Uh, they said that there was nothing you could do. That was basically it. Um, you should have transferred them before you got the new phone. Uh, and there's nothing you can do about it. Same thing, called AT&T. They said there was nothing you could do. Um, that they were sorry, but should have done that uh, in the beginning. But then I was thinking, um, if we still have the old phone, which we did, and it still has the SIM card and everything, maybe the files are still there. So I would go, basically went to the old phone, and we'll just do that here. I just went to my phone and voicemails, and then in there, if you just, you know, if you just hit one of the voicemails at the very top you can see there is a box with an arrow in it and that is basically letting you know that you can save that file anywhere so once you got there you can you know email it you can send a message copy basically I just for me I just saved it to the cloud so I just hit uh, save to files saved it to the cloud because I can access it from my computer and save it to wherever I want uh, as a backup. So that's that's really all you have to do. So if you have some voicemails that you want to get back from your old phone, you can try this just going there and then adding it to you know wherever you'd like. So that's that's really all there is to backing up your voicemails. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, you can please put them in the comments below and we will see you guys in the next video.